Oh, hey there. Thanks for sticking around. So a few months back, I purchased a laptop. Now, I didn't need anything crazy special at the time. I was just looking for something to surf the web, do some word processing, and maybe some very light gaming. I came across a bargain on Amazon, the Asus F510U. Now, this baby has an i5 processor, eight gigabytes of RAM, and a traditional one terabyte hard drive that's 5,400 RPMs. Now, for all intents and purposes, this is a good little laptop. However, I did not expect that I'd be editing video at that time, or I would have probably bought something a little beefier. So today, I'm gonna show you how to turn this middle of the road laptop into a video editing machine. We're gonna install 32 gigabytes of RAM, and we're gonna add a 512 gigabyte solid state M.2 hard drive in tandem with the hard drive that's already in here. So I've never done it before on this, so let's learn together. Oh, by the way, anytime you're playing with electronics, be very careful and don't burn the house down. Ah! Top down view. All right. So flipping over the back of the laptop here, we've got a bunch of screws. And then we've got our two sticks of DDR4 16 gig RAM to equal a total of 32 gigs and the 512 gigabyte ADATA hard drive. Uh, this is an SAT or a SATA drive. This is not one of the more expensive drives. I believe it's PCIe is what they're called. Correct me on that if I'm wrong. This one's a middle of the road, uh, but it definitely is faster than the hard drive that's in here. So didn't want to spend a ton of money, but I will link to all these puppies below in the description. Now let's get moving here. So we're gonna take all these screws out. Now I will say that as you take screws out of the back of the laptop, make sure you stack them somewhere in order so you know which screw came out of which spot. These are different lengths, depending upon where you get the screw from, and you don't want to uh, get the wrong one in the wrong spot. So I'll speed the camera up here. You don't need to watch me unscrew all these. There's also a couple of hidden screws underneath the foot pads here, it's a little butter knife action. Pop those up, it's pretty good adhesive. Set those aside. Let's get prying this back off. A little more butter knife action here. There you have it. Now we're looking at the inside of the computer. So looking at the inside of the computer here, this is your traditional hard drive. This is a, uh, it's not a solid state drive. This is your one stick of eight gigabytes of RAM. And this is the uh, second open RAM slot. This is where the M.2 hard drive is gonna go. Now there are different keys, there are different sizes. There's a lot of different things for these, uh, M.2 drives, make sure if you do get one for your computer, you know exactly what you're looking for. This one is a 2280, which means it is 22 millimeters wide by 80 millimeters long. And every laptop will have a, a different size for what's gonna fit in there. So make sure you get what's right for you. It is purely as easy as this. The RAM is held in by little clips on the edges here. So we're gonna push that clip out just a little bit. And that stick of RAM, once it clears those clips, will pop up, almost like a little elastic, like it's not a spring. We're simply gonna remove that one eight gigabyte chip. We're gonna put in a 16 gigabyte and snap it down. On the other side, the other 16 gigabyte. It does only go in one direction. Snap it down. We've now gone from eight gigabytes of RAM to 32 gigabytes of RAM that quickly. Now the M.2 hard drive, this is 512 gigabytes of additional storage. So it's 
a little more than half of the traditional hard drive, but it is much, 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 much faster because it is a solid state drive. Now, when you're installing this, make sure it goes in the right direction. There is such thing as an up and a down on this. And if you look at the teeth here, it'll kind of show you which way you're going. So in this laptop, it's going in right behind the traditional hard drive. Give it a little pressure. She pops in. And that is it. Easy as that, folks. At the very top of the M.2 drive, there is a, a, a hole for a tiny little screw. And unfortunately, I don't have one in the laptop, so I'm not gonna be able to put one in there. But this is something that if you have that screw or if you can find a screw that will fit in there, you probably wanna secure this down. And that's literally it. We have quadrupled the DDR4 RAM from eight gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. We've added a, fi a 512 gigabyte solid state drive and uh, we've all done it on a middle of the road laptop. The goal is I'm gonna take Windows off of the traditional hard drive as well as my video editing software. I'm gonna move it over onto the solid state drive. This will make editing videos exponentially faster in uh, also using the RAM with that as well. Um, but I'm gonna leave the traditional hard drive in here simply so I can store videos and pictures and things that I don't need to be accessing frequently, I can leave them on here. So I now have one and a half terabytes of storage basically on this middle of the road laptop and I have a bunch of RAM that should make it screaming fast. All that we have left to do now, is just reattach the back cover, just like we took it off. Push it down, you'll hear it snap. Got several clips inside there. And reattach the screws. And that's it. With a few turns of the screwdriver, I've taken a middle of the road laptop and turned it into a video editing machine. Uh, now, the only thing you have left to do is run a operating system cloning software. I have done some research. I think I found one that I like. So I will post the link to that in the description below. I'm gonna take the copy of Windows and everything that's on the hard drive currently, I'm gonna clone it onto the new hard drive and run everything off of that. Once I know that is safe and secure, I'm gonna delete the old hard drive entirely and just use that for storage. So uh, I'll link to a nice video that shows you how that cloning will work. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that for you, uh, but that's how easy it is to take a, a middle of the road laptop and make it a really good one. So I just took the new laptop out for a test drive and edited a little bit of a video that I'm gonna be submitting here in the next couple of days. And it is fast, like really fast. So I'm really happy that I did that. I didn't cost very much. And if you wanna do this for your laptop, I'll post the links in the description below. Uh, and if it doesn't work for your laptop in particular, maybe you don't have the same model I do, find the parts necessary and do this yourself. You will not regret it. Thanks for watching.